What's up coders? Today we're going to make a timer app that works something like this. So start 10 second countdown. You start it. It goes 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then display nice little done. So that's what we're going to make today and let's get started. So I have a little starter code that we're going to start with. Uh, it doesn't really do much, just a staple widget called my homepage, have a counter value of 10, scaffold center with a column of two things, just a counter value and then a raise button that doesn't do anything. So first we're gonna add a text widget above the 10 to tell us when we're done or not. So this widget, we're gonna before check the counter value, see if it's greater than zero. If it is, return an empty text. If it's not greater than zero, return text that says done. Let's give it a little bit of styling so we, it looks nice. Text style, give it a color of green. What did I forget here? A comma. Give it a color of green. Let's give it a font weight of bold and then just make it bigger font size 48 and we need another comma at the end here all right and now the main thing we're going to want to have a function called start timer so the start timer function, let's define it up here. It's going to not return anything, just be a void. So we need to have a timer variable. So we could, we could start and stop our timer and every, all the things like that. And in order to have the timer, we need to add in the dark async library. So then within this timer, it's going to be pretty simple logic uh, we can set our counter to back to 10 if it's not already 10 and then we can def give that timer give it a new instance periodic timer inside we need to give it a duration so we can just do duration seconds one second and then inside here is the callback method. So whatever's in here gets executed every second. So we can just do a set state. And then if our counter is greater than zero, we need to decrement the counter. Otherwise, we need to cancel the timer. Because this, this part will keep looping forever if you don't ever cancel it. But what happens, so that should work. Let's try it out. I didn't save it. So let's save it and then try it out. Doesn't work. What did we do wrong? So make sure you add your little parentheses to actually call the function. But all right, so now let's try it, see if it works. Hook it, nine, eight, seven, six, five, and everything should work. But there's one more check, one more thing that we need to do. So if we would have clicked the button again while it was counting down, it would have had two timers initialized because we only cancel it at the end of that. So at the beginning, let's do a little check. Timer does not equal null. If it does not equal null, do timer.cancel as well. All right, and here's our complete code. Now we should be able to click the button once. I'll start counting down. If we click it again, it will start counting down again from the top. Click it again, same thing. So there, that's pretty simple. Quick, quick uh, tutorial about how to create a timer. Um, this code will be on GitHub if you want to use this. The link is in the description. If you have any questions or comments or anything, make sure to tell me down there. 
Uh, if you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, and share, and thanks for watching.